Hey guys, um, I wanted to do an update video to let you know how things have been going with me. And so the first thing I want to say is I want to thank each and every one of you guys that have donated to my GoFundMe account, that have sent me prayers. So many of you have responded with so much love and so much generosity. And I cannot thank you enough. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, from the most sincerest part of me. I want to say thank you. I want to thank you, everyone from America, people from Australia, people from Germany, people from all overseas areas have come to support me. And I love you guys. And I'm appreciative. And most of all, I am extremely grateful. Because without you, I would not be able to now start looking for my own place to be able to start looking for a bed to purchase and furniture and things that I'm going to need as I'm moving forward and as I'm starting over. So I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. It means the world to me that I was able to open up and be vulnerable and ask for help. I was embarrassed to be able to do it. I was, there was some shame that I was feeling in that moment. But I just knew that I needed to open up and be and be vulnerable and I didn't know what was going to happen, how people were going to see me, how people were going to respond. And it's just been a blessing and a miracle and I thank you. I thank you. The next thing I want to say is, you know, I've had a few people try to shame me and I've had a few people write me and have left negative comments about the fact that, you know, I'm have been in this position of transition and going through this experience that I'm going through and I wanted to come on here and I wanted to share you know you guys know that I try my best to be as transparent as possible and so the first thing I want to say is I feel no shame there's nothing that I'm embarrassed about this is a real-life situation I'm a human being I'm a human being who is learning who is growing who is responding to different things that happened to me in my life as anyone else would. And I never ever want, and I'm gonna say this and I've always said this, just because I'm a spiritual teacher, just because I have this YouTube channel, just because I work in a way that supports other people spiritually and I do healing work and I do readings, does not mean that I myself am exempt from anything terrible happening to me in my life. Things happen to people all the time that they are unprepared for. People get cancer, people die, people get sick, people lose their jobs, people have house fires. Tragic events happen. And there's no shame in these things. There are, there's no shame in these things. What I learned from this, what I learned from being homeless, from not having my own place to live, what I learned from that is it number one it does not define Savon Champel it does not define me you know it does not diminish my light it does not diminish what I've contributed into the lives of people around the world it doesn't diminish anything unless I let it unless I believe that it's going to and then it does you know it doesn't make me a bad person it makes me a human being it makes me a human being and learning and going through life. And we've all had different situations and things that have happened to us where we may have thought if I reach out, if I tell people what's going on with me, you know, what are they gonna think about me? Everyone has had something. And so I am here to tell you that no matter what's going on in your life, do not allow it to hinder you opening up and being vulnerable and asking for help there's nothing wrong with reaching out and asking for help sometimes we have to do that even sometimes spiritual teachers have to ask for help sometimes people that are strong you know that are living in their light that are living in their passion sometimes they have to ask for help because guess what it's all a part of learning how else are we supposed to learn unless we go through adversity how else am I supposed to teach you guys about compassion, self-compassion, self-forgiveness, unless I go through an experience 
that puts me in a space where I'm now starting to beat myself up and I'm now starting to judge myself, which I was. I did beat myself up and I can admit that. I was judging myself. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself and I felt bad. But it was your love and your help and your support and you guys reminding me of all the good that I've done and coming to my aid and supporting me that helped me to remember, wait a minute, I don't have to judge myself. I didn't do anything wrong. This is simply an experience that is happening and I'm going to get through it. People are supporting me. Okay? How else will I know that the universe is there to support me unless I'm in an experience unless I'm in an experience that I'm having where I need to be supported. And this is for you guys. You know, bad things do happen to good people and it's okay. But how else are we going to learn? How else are we going to know how strong we truly are unless we go through trials and tribulations and we're able to use our tools and use the things that we learn about and use the things that we talk about and we post about on Facebook every day. You know, there's no sense in posting positivity all the time unless it's tested and you know it to be true for yourself. Unless you're tested and you're able to use the tools and use that, those memes, those things that you say, you know, thinking positive, forgiving, loving yourself, pushing through. How else are you supposed to get it anchored in you and embody those qualities unless you actually go through adversity? How else will you live to tell the story? How else am I going to live to tell the story of how I was homeless and how I opened my heart and I allowed myself to be vulnerable and I allowed people into my heart and into my life to see something that I was embarrassed about sharing? But as a result of it, as a result of it, people lifted me up. I was able to connect and feel and receive that love that I wanted, that support that I wanted, and miracles started to happen because of one act of courage to be vulnerable and to tell the truth. You know, and a friend of mine said to me, Savon, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. You're asking for help, but you're actually helping other people. You're giving them the courage to open up, but you're also allowing other people to help you, that there's some people out there that need to love on someone, they need to help on someone, and it feels good for them to open up to help you. So I don't feel ashamed, I don't feel bad, I feel blessed, and I feel so appreciated and so loved and so inspired to continue to move forward and continue to rebuild my life. You know, this doesn't stop me and this isn't going to stop me. And whatever's going on with you, do not allow it to stop you. It's okay. It's okay. Ask for help. Open up. Don't judge yourself. What I also realized too is the self-judgment that I was having towards myself was keeping me stuck. It was not allowing me to move in any direction. And so many blessings have happened. As I said, people have been reaching out to me. People that advocate for military veterans have been reaching out to me to let me know about things that I didn't even know was available to me, resources. There's so many resources that are available to military veterans. I didn't even know about that. You know, I've been on the phone with different people that want to support me, that have actually reached out to help me. I had somebody reach out to me the other day, um, a nurse that goes to a church, and I was able to stay with her for a few days. She didn't know me, I never met her, but I was able to stay with her, and it was such a blessing. You know, there's so much power in community. So yeah, this tragedy happened, but I've transcended it, and it's pushed me into a space of receptivity, a space of openness. A space of where people are coming to support me and linking up with me heart to heart and saying, Savon, I love you. Savon, I'm going to help you. Savon, you can do this. I never would have found out about all these different resources that are available to me. You know, I never would have opened my heart up to, the, to all this love, to all this support. So there's a miracle that's taking place within me and around me and in my life. 
And it's because I had the courage to open up and to ask for help. The courage to be vulnerable. And so whatever's going on in your life, don't be ashamed about it. Don't be ashamed. Don't allow it to keep you in a bubble and hiding and where the more depression is going to fester, where, where you're going to feel more isolated and more alone. I was feeling alone and I was feeling isolated and I felt like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm so glad that I had the courage to put myself out there because now I'm now having been moving through it and I'm now coming out on the other side, knowing that I'm loved, knowing that I'm supported, knowing what happens when you open up and you share. You know, we do live in a friendly world and we do live in a friendly universe and I know it. I know it because you guys were there for me. You guys were there for me. I do believe in angels and I know that they are real because they showed up through you. All of you guys are my angels and I appreciate that. You know, and so I'm, I'm back on here to let you know. I know that all of you guys are going through things in your life. Do not allow it to stop you. Keep moving forward. Keep positive. Know that there is help, whatever it is that's going on. There's so many things that I've didn't even realize was could be available to me that I now know is available to me as a veteran. So this is a blessing in disguise. You know, and sometimes we need to go through things so it can push us even further. So we can grow. You know, you're not going through something, you're growing through something. I'm growing through this experience. My faith is stronger. My ability to trust is stronger. My ability to be completely transparent and open my heart has expanded in a way that I never knew was possible. And I'm not ashamed. I'm a human being. I'm a human being and living my life to the best of my own ability, stepping into what I know to be true for me to help myself move through it. And there's no shame in that. There's no shame in asking for help. There's no shame in needing help. How else will I be able to learn and to grow and to come back on here and teach? And in order to teach, you must know. In order to teach, you must know. You know? I was beating myself up and I'm not going to do that anymore. I was judging myself and I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't have to do that. I can love myself through the process. And what I was afraid of did not happen. I was afraid of people judging me and rejecting me. And you guys didn't do that because I opened up my heart. You opened up your heart to me. And those are the things that I've learned. Those are the powerful lessons. You know, it's okay to fall. It's okay. There will be people there to help you back up again. You know, loneliness is just an illusion. It's something else that I learned. Me feeling lonely was the state of mind that I was in, a state of depression that I was in. And when I started getting everyone's emails and everyone's donations and everyone's messages, it shifted it just like that. It shifted it. You know, sometimes all it takes is someone reaching out saying, I'm here for you. I see you. You're going to get through this that makes all the difference in the world. You know, spirituality and learning about consciousness and working with your angels does not mean that you are never going to have tragedies happen in your life. It means that now you have tools and processes and spiritual practices to help support you so it doesn't sting as much. So you can lean into and lean on your faith even more. So you will not over identify with the experience that is happening to you. And this is simply an experience that happened to me, but it does not define me. And I will not be defined by this. I will not be defined by this. And I can say, yes, I've been homeless before, but I transcended it. I moved through it. People came and supported me and helped me. And there's no shame in that. 
There's no shame in it. There's no shame in asking for help. I'm so grateful, so, so, so grateful to you guys, to all of you, those of you that have sent prayers, those of you that have sent healing. I can't count the, the amount of messages that I've gotten and I've tried to respond in ways where everyone would see. I'm thanking each and every one of you, each and every one of you for donating to my GoFundMe account. I, within hours and days, I was already at the halfway mark and I'm almost to my goal. I'm almost to my goal and I'm so grateful and the donations are still coming in and I'm super grateful and I ask that you continue to support me and to help me. I love you guys. Do not allow anyone to shame you for asking for help. Do not allow your situation to cripple you. Don't identify with what's going on. Know that you're going through something and you're moving through it. You're going through it and you're gonna grow through it. If you need to reach out and ask for help, it's okay to do that. You know, if you need to go get on food stamps, it's okay to do that. If you need to go and ask someone to help lift you up or to support you financially, it's okay to do that. It's all okay. Being spiritual does not mean that you can't ask for help. You know, someone left a message that said that I disappointed them, that, you know, that they I was their hero and this is so sad and, you know, and that's okay. But I did not ask that person to put me on a pedestal. And I say in all my videos, I'm a human being and this is my journey and I'm sharing it with you to help inspire you in whatever way is best and is going to work for you, to inspire you to your greatness. You know, and, and it doesn't matter what happened to you. What matters is how are you going to respond? How are you going to move on? How are you going to take what happened to you and use it in a way that's going to propel you even further, even further? I'm not going to be sad. There's no reason to be sad because I'm surrounded by so much love and grace and humility and people that really care about me and that love me and that say, Savon, it's okay. This doesn't diminish your gifts, your talents. It does not diminish your messages in any way. It makes you human. It makes you human. And so whatever you're going through, it makes you human. It's okay. It's okay. It's all okay and you'll get through it and people will come to your aid and will help you but make sure you open up make sure you ask for help you're not alone in whatever it is that you're going through and I know people write me that live at home that don't get out that have no social interactions but they watch my videos over and over again and you thank me and I'm talking to you, I'm speaking to you guys, I'm speaking to those of you that feel lonely, that feel like you don't have any friends, you don't have any family. You can get through this. If I can get through what I'm going through, you can get through it. You can get through it. Stand tall, be proud, know that you are loved. I'm still the same save on that I was six weeks ago, six months ago that I am today. Except now I'm much stronger. You know, now I'm fueled with passion and inspiration and love. And now I have a wisdom that I've gained from this experience. You know, a wisdom that I've gained. When shit happens, it's really like like fertilizer to the soul, it helps to push you further, it helps to expand you. And it doesn't seem like it in the moment, but when you start to make it through, you realize how strong you are. You realize how supported you are. And you realize that all those things that you believed about the law of attraction, about angels, about life, about people, about society, it's all real and it's all true because it happened to you. How else would I ever learn anything unless adversity happened in my life, in my journey. How else would I grow? How else would I be able to come on here and be vulnerable and say to you, you can get through it. 
Forgive yourself, love yourself through it. Reach out, be vulnerable. When you're vulnerable with others, they're vulnerable and open with you. How else would I be able to do that? Otherwise, I'd come on here and I would talk about different concepts, different things that I've read in books, but I'd have no life experience to back it up. What kind of teacher would I be? What kind of human being would I be? How else can I learn to have compassion for others unless I've actually walked in their shoes? So this is all a blessing in disguise. And I know it's a blessing in disguise. And I know that huge things are coming out of this. So I wanna thank you. I love you guys so much. I'll keep you posted on what's developing for me right now. I'm feeling a lot better. My nose is still stuffed up. My back is still in pain, but it's not hurting as much as it was before because of the medicine that I'm on. I'm gonna be looking for a place to stay, a permanent place to stay. And I'm looking into a lot of the resources now that I didn't even know was available to me as a veteran to see if I qualify. So I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm feeling better than I was before. And I love you and I thank you for supporting me. And I ask that you continue to support me and to continue to send me your love and your prayers as I'm moving through this. I am forever, forever grateful. And all I want to pass on to you is don't ever feel ashamed about needing help and asking for help in whatever way it need, you need it. There's no shame in it. And anyone that shames you for asking for help, it's more about their own projections and what they think and feel about themselves than it is about you. You know, and to my surprise, there were only two people that actually left negative messages and the rest were messages of love and encouragement. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and I hope that this message inspires you in your own way to be strong, to know that you're gonna get through whatever it is that you're going through in life. Because that's all that this is, this is life. It's never gonna be perfect, it's never gonna be, you know, perfect, hunky-dory, you know, bells and whistles and waking up and everything is just, you know, it's going to be hard. That's what life is about. But we have our spiritual practices put in place to help us navigate. You know, and the other thing I want to say is this, and I learned this from Oprah Winfrey, and, and this has been coming to me in my spirit, that sometimes when tragic events happen and things happen in our life, it's simply life redirecting you. It's not a curse. It's not something, you know... There's no need, ever a need for me to, to be in a space of being a victim of, oh my God, this happened to me. I'm such a good person. Why is this happening? You know, I knew in instinctively something's happening. This is happening. There's a big transformation happening. There's a big redirection happening. And life is redirecting me. Life is pulling me away from people that don't serve me, pulling me away from an environment that doesn't contribute to my greatness. And I'm going to let go and I'm going to follow with full knowing and full faith that something's gonna open up, something's gonna come in for me, and it did, and it did. And so whatever's going on, just know that life is just redirecting you. And all you have to do is pay attention and be open and listen, and there's nothing shameful about that. There's no shame in transition. There's no shame in needing help. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. If this message blesses you, leave a comment as always. And there's no soul work in this video. Your only soul work is to love yourself through whatever it is that you're going through. And if you need to ask for help, ask for help. It's okay. Tell someone what you're going through. It's okay. You don't have to keep it to yourself and you don't have to suffer alone. Till next time, I see you guys again. I love you. Bye.